Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media, and it is officially 2023. Today, upload this video is January 1st, 2023, so I thought it'd be a fun idea to kind of give a, and do, a hot takes episode, but all about predictions for 2023. There's just a few, so let's talk about them. I think that songs under three minutes will become more common, and with that, more bad songs. I think shorter songs tend to feel rushed or lazy, either in terms of production, lyrics, or song structure. Obviously, this doesn't mean a short track uh, made is destined to be a flop. There are good stuff out there, but a quicker track duration can definitely make those chances more likely. Uh, yeah, I I would definitely agree with this for sure. And I feel like if you haven't recognized that at this point, I'm sure you have in the comment, but if uh, anyone else has not recognized that we are moving into an age where music is getting so, so short, um, then... <laughs> I don't know, maybe you're in a totally different subgenre or sub community of, of music listening, but music has become way shorter and I'm I'm fascinated to know when our plateau, when the exponential decrease is gonna be. What what is our lower limit that we can go? Are we gonna hit a minute, 30 second songs? Are we gonna hit 40 second songs? Are we gonna hit 30 second songs? Or is like this kind of where we're at, like the just above kind of two minutes, two and a half minutes, is that as low as we can go? I'd be I'm fascinated to know, but yes, for sure. Songs are gonna get shorter. And yeah, I, I do definitely agree with the sentiment that shorter songs feel more rushed or lazy. Obviously there's some gold out there that I think is fantastic, like Dead Man Walking by Grant Ellis, my one of my top songs of the year uh, is is a shorter song. Uh, another one by uh, Sam Galatre is another great punch of songs from the VF uh, Volume Two album. That's super quick, but I still love them. So yes, it doesn't. It's not always an indicator, but it can be a strong one. I would say for sure. Twenty twenty three will be the first time we see a Monster Cat song get a sped up version, thanks to the rise of them in mid twenty twenty two. Ooh, this is an interesting one. Yeah, there was the sped up and then there was the slowed down and reverb versions that saw all over the place. You saw Alan Walker even make a whole separate, two separate other reissue projects just of all of his other songs just sped up and then slowed down and reverb. And it saw success in a weird, strange way. It's like making a, a tiny remix that you just kind of throw out there and like you don't really care about a whole ton and it's just there to kind of make you money. It's not really part of, it doesn't feel part of like an artist's real discography. It just feels like a... I don't know, it, it, the, I think it's the closest to unreleased music or like I, even SoundCloud music that doesn't really, that is, that, that is released. Like it, it doesn't feel like it's part of their discography. I don't know, it's weird. Um, but in terms of Monster Cat scenes, but a version, I could see it. I could see it. I could definitely see it. Um, we've had a, a lot of more modernization, I think, of the label as of recently with like kind of like going to some trends like funk, I think is a great example. And so I, I think so. I think we would see one. And I think it would, I don't think it'll be many. I think it'll just be one or two. I think someone needs to break the floodgates open though. I think a couple artists, and I'm sure you've maybe even Darlington is like, you know what? I think this would be a good idea. This would be kind of smart. And uh, I think people are a little like, oh, you should do it first. No, you should do it first. And then once someone does it, then I think the floodgates will actually open. Uh, but people, I think, are going to get maybe even clowned on a little bit by the community for doing so. And so I think they don't want to be the first to do it, but they want to do it would be my guess. Personally, not a huge fan of sped up, slow down reverb. I think it's, I don't know. Whatever, yeah, it's just it's just not me. I feel like 2023 will be the start of a new era for Monster Cat. Darlington has been hyping up a lot of big changes happening next year for a while on the main Monster Cat Discord server, but still don't know what these changes will be, but he has said that they will include musical changes in the way they market each brand. Um, okay, so I can, I guess, talk about this a little bit. If, if, if this is a thing that he said publicly, then I can talk about this. Um, a little bit of backstory. I went to the Monster Cat HQ just on a whim randomly. I was going to a Swedish House Mafia concert stop by and Darlington was nice enough to, um, let me into the HQ and talked a little bit about stuff. And the one thing that he had mentioned, like as a little teaser for what was coming up for Monster Cat was this, the fact that they were going to be kind of changing the way they market each brand and they were removing the, I can't remember what word he, uh, it's like some parallelism between the two. I can't remember the word or the three. I can't remember what word he used exactly, but something along the lines of, um, yeah, he, he, they're just making them unique now. So like in my mind, I think of Uncaged looking more like uh, like a metal LP would be or like a, a metal band, like just a more like crazy jagged fonts and darker tones and more grayscale kind of stuff. Uh, Instinct, I don't know, maybe more bubbly, a little more like blocky kind of uh, rounded letters around stuff and a little more bright and silk stain. It's kind of smooth, kind of 
orange, I guess, for the most part, is, is the best way to do silk. But my guess is it's going to be a little bit more like that. But that that was all I that was all the little teaser he had, he had given me. And so uh, I'm excited for that. I think it will be a cool thing to see Monster Cat kind of branch out. And they because when they did Uncage and they did Instinct and they had like the two very fun splits. I think it was like, a, it was really nice to have the instinct and uncaged and then still came along and then they kind of try to put them all three of them together. Parody. That's the word I was looking for. Remove the parody from all three albums uh, or from th all three brands. Uh, and so I think it is time to kind of go away from that and really have, because the, like the, if you're watching this video for the most part, you are like me and you follow every single Monster Cat release. If you, there's a strong chance that you are a huge Monster Cat fan. And th there are a ton of us out there that really listen to absolutely everything, regardless of Silk, Uncaged, Instinct. They listen to everything. They're they're in like crazy in the community. There's not a ton of us out there. The, it's probably like a 0.01% of us. And we have this great community. But when it comes to people that like, they don't, the Uncaged people don't care about Silk. The Silk people don't care about Instinct. The Instinct people maybe care about Uncaged a little bit here or there. There's a little bit of crossover, but they don't care a ton. And so I think this will be better for Monster Cat as a whole moving forward. 2023 is the year of drum and bass. Um, as much as I would have said 2022 is the year in drum and bass, I actually think 2022 is the year of color bass. Um, but 2022, I think, was more of a year of drum and bass than maybe what is upcoming. Like, what do we have? We had a, a bunch of stuff from Imanu. We had the Noisia album. We had the Reaper album. We had like a ton of like graphics. We had a ton of drum and bass, I think, this year. And I would say, yeah, I would say maybe 2022 was maybe the year of drum and bass. I personally think it's color based still, but uh, I will be fascinated to see if it's 2023. I I, I think 2023 will be different. I, something in my head's going, I think something's going to change. It's going to be one of the bigger changes we'll see in EDM uh, in the next year, but I guess we'll see. I feel like the smaller EDM labels are going to have a sort of resurgence this year. Maybe some artists from the big labels will branch out to smaller labels to boost them up a little bit. Overall, 2023 is going to be the year for the little labels that, is, uh, that never seem to get enough appreciation. I hope you're going to be true about this. I hope you're going to be right. I Some of the smaller labels I love, and some of them I don't even know because they're smaller and I haven't quite found them yet, but uh, I really really, really do love the kind of up and coming labels, up and coming artists. I, I wish I listened to more of that kind of stuff and was more intentional about it. But I, I really do hope uh, the smaller labels like Rushdown, Rushdown needs to, yeah, Rushdown. I would probably say Bitbird at this point too is probably a little bit in that kind of spectrum. Um, Fiji Ouija Spaceman recordings, I think would be great to go a little bit higher, but, um, man, I, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I, I hope you're right. I really do hope you're right. And we're going to end this video with a little different thing. I'm going to give two of my personal hot takes for the year, my personal hot takes for the year. Um, my number one hot take is that I think this will be uh, one of the greatest years in EDM history. I think we're going to see a random, I don't know what it is. It's some resurgence of something that is going to be absolutely bananas. It's going to be one of the best years of EDM uh, that's going to be talked about in comparison to the kind of early Skrillex years of the kind of rise and uh, commercialization of EDM in some capacity. I think it'll be a phenomenal year. And here's why I think that. Uh, because in years past, we've kind of always come to the end of the year and we're like, oh, this album's supposed to drop, or we're supposed to get this thing this year, we're supposed to get a, this kind of album, we're supposed to get, this artist supposed to put out an album, we're supposed to, ooh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be great, we're gonna, all this anticipation, and then the year's like, yeah, it was a solid year, but like it wasn't, it didn't build up to the hype that we've, we've given the rest of the year beforehand. And uh, I'm, I'm not seeing hype this year. I am not seeing much hype for EDM this year. There are very few projects, very few albums that uh, people seem to be like super on the radar. They're like, oh my gosh, this is going to be the best thing this year. There's just, there's not a lot of that. So I think 2023 will greatly surprise us. And my final hot take is that uh, I think we will see multiple returning albums from artists that are bigger names that haven't put something out in a long time. So a great example of that would be Swedish House Mafia this past year that put out their technically debut album after the Until Now compilation. So years later had this kind of comeback and uh, made a brand new project, made a brand new album or something like that. It doesn't have to be, I guess an album can be a compilation, an album, an EP, something. I think we'll see a bunch of bigger name artists actually come back and kind of do what Swedish House Mafia did of the past. Um, one of those I think is Skrillex. Um, we talked about it last year and this kind of goes against the point that I just gave, but um, I think we'll see finally something from Skrillex this year, some self-release things. He's been doing a ton of producing on the back end for a ton of different people. And uh, I think it's finally his time to, to come back. And so artists like that, I think we'll see um, quite a few of those kind of returning big names uh, for some projects, but 
Yeah. But that's it. Those have been my and your hot takes for 2023, the predictions for what we think is going to happen. Uh, let me know what you think of any and all in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you guys think about 2023, what is upcoming, and what you think will and won't happen in the year. But other than that, I've been Bowtie Media, and I will see you guys in another video.